So I think this might be it for the little GX75. I'm all done with this tractor. I've listed it, and I've got buyer already. Well, prospective buyer. Uh, this individual is going to come look at it. And I really got to say, it's not a bad little tractor. I had my doubts at first because of what I went through with the SX75 a couple years ago. But this tractor is a little bit different. I think the transmission is different. It's a little simpler to use. And uh, this particular tractor here, I think, doesn't have quite as much wear on it as the SX75. That SX75 did a good job at scalping my lawn, even with the deck all the way up. And I, I tend to mow pretty high. I, I leave my grass pretty long. This little tractor, however, with my test mows, it actually did a pretty pretty good job. I marginally leveled the deck. It wasn't totally successful, but it was better than the last tractor I had. So <clears throat> I would say if you're maybe looking for one of these little riders, I, I wouldn't be afraid of one. It's uh, It takes some getting used to. It is really, really small, <laughs> but it, it cuts pretty darn good. And also what I notice is it doesn't really leave tracks in the yard, maybe because it's so lightweight. Uh, the Kawasaki nine horse engine is a pretty darn good engine. It doesn't have a lot of power, uh, but it's fairly quiet and uh, it gets the job done quite simply. This is in its day when it was made, it was a economical small lawn tractor. And it even today, it, it still pretty much fits that bill. Uh, they don't make this style anymore. Uh, not really sure why uh, these types of mowers are still available. I think MTD makes several different brands of these rear engine riders. But it would be interesting to see John Deere come out with this again, maybe as an electric variant. I've seen a couple newer electric versions of these rear engine riders. Um, <clears throat> I, think, I think that would be kind of neat. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stick with my X300, which I love. And uh, hopefully this little tractor here will go to a good home. Um, it was a pretty good project, and I had a lot of fun. wasn't real challenging, but it was something to do. Uh, got me out of the house a time or two. So uh, if you watched any of this series of me working on this tractor, thanks. If you subscribed because of it, thank you. If you learned something, hey, awesome. I'm glad. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I want to learn how to do this stuff and maybe teach others along the way. So until next time, thanks a lot. We'll catch you later.